Hi everyone, welcome to Salesforce Topics channel. In this session 4, let us discuss few more examples on the triggers and how to identify which trigger event is apt for the requirement and the implementation of these examples. Here we are going to take two requirements. One is the deletion of service request is not allowed if the service is already started. That means if the service request status is other than received, that is in progress or complete, for those service requests, deletion is not allowed. The second requirement is on deletion of the service request, notify the owner of the vehicle with an email. Users can delete the service request when the status is received. So on deletion of that service request, we have to notify its owner by sending an email. These two requirements talks about the deletion of the record. So we can filter out other trigger events. Now we have only two trigger events that is before delete and after delete. The first requirement talks about we should block the deletion. For this requirement, we cannot take after delete because we should block the deletion of the record. If you take the after delete here, the record would have been already marked as deletion. If you go for the before delete, you can block the transaction here itself and it can roll back very easily. Hence, for the first requirement, the perfect trigger event is before delete. In the second requirement, we have to notify the user after deletion of the record. For this requirement, we cannot go for the before delete because we have to notify after deletion of the record. So the perfect trigger event for this requirement is after delete. Now let us implement the first requirement. For this, we have to add before delete event. So I am going to add a before delete event and the corresponding code block for before delete operation type is before underscore delete we will add one more method to our trigger handler to take care of the before delete validations so in this i am going to add one more method for delete validations we will see what are all the parameters that we can send the same method i am going to call from here by these two files now since we have added before delete event we should be able to see the trigger context variables printed when you delete the service request now let me delete this service request even though service request status is complete it will allow us to delete because we have not yet implemented our requirement it's been deleted now let us check the logs and if you see our trigger context variables for the before delete we can see there is no new and new map values and only we have old and old map for more details on how Salesforce is populating these values, please go through my session 1 on the triggers. There I have explained clearly on how Salesforce is populating these values for each and every trigger event. Hence, we will pass these two values from here. Trigger.old and map. Please note that we can also pass the remaining two values trigger.new and trigger.newmap but there is 
no use with that because those values are anyway null i'm going to add parameters deleted source and map of service request deleted source map now we have to allow the deletion of service request only if it has the status as received other than received status that is in progress complete user will not be able to delete this after implementation of our trigger so now let me iterate this now if the status is not received then in that case we will not allow user to delete check the status status is not equal to save deletion is not allowed if the status is in progress or complete deploy this now let me try to delete this service request whose status is already reached to complete it should not allow us to delete this record it is not allowing that is it is displaying deletion is not allowed if the status is in progress or complete now let's move on to the another requirement that is on deletion of service request we have to notify the owner as we have to implement this with the after delete event i am adding after delete event and responding when block is after underscore delete i am going to use the same trigger handler this time i am going to use one more method that is after delete sr actions let me add this method to the trigger handler let's see what are all the trigger parameters that we can pass here see the trigger context variables and its values for after delete i am just deploying these two files now i am deleting this service request to see the trigger context variable values these are all the trigger context variables for after delete the for after delete also we have only old and old map so as like before delete i am going to pass the same parameters for this method too and in the handler also i am going to add same parameters now our requirement is after service request got deleted we have to notify the owner with an email as we have written this similar logic many times i'm just copy pasting that here over here we have to iterate this service request and subject should be service request has been deleted your service request number number is fine then i have to append another text is deleted let me deploy this code since we added the parameters modified this file let me deploy this trigger also now if i delete this service request this has to be notified with an email yes we got one email saying that service request has been deleted thanks for watching we will meet in the next session